Sometimes as YouTubers, we do this thing where we get so bogged down in looking for new and the best methods that we forget that maybe the methods that we were talking about in February are actually better. In this video, I want to go back to something that I talked about in February and it's called prepping. And I personally believe this is much better than using a big long prompt, which is what I've been talking about in the last few months. The reason I've been talking about that is because it's better for the API, it works better for the API, but inside the chat GPT UI like this right here, it's actually better to prep. And this video is also for all of the people who have asked me to make GPT 3.5 content. Now, you can use GPT-4 for this. I'm just gonna be using 3.5 to prove that it's actually possible. So before we get into everything, prepping versus prompting, etc., let's talk about what prepping actually is. So prompting is where you give one prompt and you tell ChatGPT to do X and the prompt is normally very, very complicated. Prepping, on the other hand, is where you give a, a first prompt and then you continue prompting until you get to the point where you tell it to actually do the thing you want it to do. So my first prepping prompt as an example to show you what I mean is I want you to help me write a blog post today. You are SEO writer GPT. Do not start writing until I say let's go chat GPT. Do you understand? The most important part of this prepping prompt is do you understand? Let's hit enter and you'll see it says understood. I'll wait for your signal to start writing. Just say let's go chat GPT whenever you're ready and we'll get started on the blog post. So before we actually get into this method and I show you everything that you need to do to use GPT 3.5 to write a good ranking article, let's talk about the difference between prepping and prompting. So first of all, prepping is prompting. It's like a style of prompting, but I would say it is also different, okay? So I can't actually say precisely why prepping seems to work better, but I'm gonna give my two cents, a few theories, et cetera, et cetera, in this video. It's common knowledge, and it's also obvious, that ChatGPT works better when it understands what it's actually doing. And giving it a really long, complicated prompt often confuses it. These long and complicated prompts are simply that. They are too long and they are too complicated. It's the same with a lot of AI. If it's able to give something good from a single prompt, then it means that the output is going to be better because the task isn't as difficult for it. It breaks it down into smaller parts and it's not trying to squeeze text into a certain amount of characters remaining. So you might have noticed when you're using a long prompt, what happens is when it starts to get towards the bottom, you can see that it starts to rush, it starts to write less lines per paragraph, and then it will suddenly conclude because it has to finish the article in the token limit. However, this prepping works in a different way. Before we talk about prepping though, let's talk about one of the long prompts that I've been talking about the last few months. Um, so this is an example of one of those. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty long. This isn't even, this is nowhere near my longest prompt, but this is a pretty long prompt anyway. And this does work as well. I just think that maybe prepping, although it takes a little bit longer, actually ranks better on Google. I do have evidence of this. Um, two men, any article that was written with prepping is actually ranking better than any article that was written with a long prompt. Interestingly as well, all of the early content was written by ChatGPT 3.5 using prepping, and all my recent content has been written using long prompts, just like this one right here, and it's not ranking as well, okay? So another theory I have is that Google somehow knows, and this is a conspiracy theory basically at this point, but Google somehow knows that something was generated with one prompt, okay? You can call me stupid, you can say that's impossible. It just feels like that might actually be true. Maybe it's the way that the tokens are generated. I don't really know. I'm just saying that in my opinion, something's going on here. And 3.5 content actually seems to be ranking better for me, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Now, Let's get into the actual method. Like I said before, we're using 3.5, but you can use 4, but 
after what I just said, I'm probably confusing you now. I really, I don't know what to recommend right now. 3.5 seems to be ranking better for me. I'm not here to sell you ChatGPT4. I don't care if you have a Plus subscription or not. It, it's just, it's really, really hard for me to say. Obviously, logically thinking about it, GPT4 should be better. It just seems like 3.5 is better though, which is kind of weird. It's also much quicker. So, You'll find this conversation in the description. There will be a ChatGPT link to this description, right? To this conversation with ChatGPT. So if you want to get the prompts, all you have to do is change the words and, you know, the logic in the prompt, basically. So we're going to say the topic is going to be crocodile leather. Why is it expensive? Why is it so popular? I got this keyword from Google. If you want to know how to do Google keyword research, I do have a lot of videos on keyword research. So the next uh, prepping or prompt or whatever is this one right here. You are writing for Two Men, a multi-brand Italian store selling many brands, including Mora and Kiton. Okay, so what I did was I gave a little bit of information about the business that I am working for. And then I told which, I basically mentioned whichever brands we have that have some kind of crocodile clothing on the website. And then I said, during the article, please try to include relative internal links context contextually throughout the article with a, an ahref markdown formatted uh, keywords, anchor text. Let's get rid of this bit here because, yes, okay. And then I just got the links that make sense for this article. I did this um, manually. So we've got collections, Italian crocodile leather, collections, kit on, collections, Morda, uh, and then just two blogs, one about billionaire brands and one about Neapolitan classic menswear brands. Now, you don't need to do more than this. I probably made a mistake when back in the day, probably a few months ago, I was putting like 12 internal links in an article. I've since kind of learned that that's kind of pointless. And yeah, I'm, I'm going back to just putting four or five in each article. The main reason I put so many is because I had so many new pages and I wanted to get them ranking. What I should have done is made a content plan and made specific content to get each piece ranking. But yeah, I've already made that mistake. It's already too late. And then there's just two more prompts. There's this one right here. So I want you to include as much markdown formatting as possible as the more markdown included in an article, the more likely it is to rank. Normally a good practice is to use a list or a table to break up large walls of texts. Also, using short, snappy sentences include, increases reading time, which increases ranking. Do you understand? You could also say something like, uh, also, please try to use creativity and uh, creativity, burstiness, personal stories, maybe, <laughs> and uh, perplexity. Do you understand? Okay. And then the final bit of the prompt is to say, you can do this in two ways. You can say, um, write me 20 questions that people might have about this topic. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to go on Google and type in something like crocodile leather. And then just to click these questions here and then grab these questions, okay? It's completely up to you how you do this. Um, I personally will use ChatGPT for this. Okay, so all of that is now done. And now I'm going to say using all of the information I have given you and you have given me dot dot dot. Let's go chat GPT. Okay, so now, as you can see, it's writing this is 3.5. Okay, which is really, really nice to see. I believe that the content is going to be a little bit better here as well. You can see it's done internal links to some extent, but they're not perfect. Okay. So what would probably be a better way to do this is instead of saying that right here, we could say, can you um, write an outline first for the this article? I think I got a little bit too excited there. So I'm going to say, can you write the outline? I forgot to do something very important. So actually, one of the most important parts of this is to do each part at one time. Okay, so we'll select these two parts here. And we'll say, please write only these two parts. And we're going to say, don't forget tables and lists. It seems to me like ChatGPT 3.5 cannot make a table. I have never seen 3.5 make a table. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so that should be the first part. 
And then we will do the second part. So this one and this one. Please write the next part. Okay, so when I said don't forget lists, it really, really took it to heart, and now it's literally just giving me lists, which is annoying, but yeah, that's uh, the hazard of using ChatGPT 3.5, basically. So then we'll say, please write the last part. Give me some paragraphs. Don't only use lists. Okay, so in my opinion, this is basically the best way to create content using 3.5. And also, generally speaking, I think this might actually be the best way to create content using ChatGPT. So let's press copy here, and then we'll go down, we'll go to mark down to HTML. So we can see, I'm pretty sure that there are not, there are no internal links here, which is kind of annoying. I did do this before, and it did work with internal links. So what we could do is we could maybe say, please write out the entire article one more time uh, with all three sections. Please add my internal links a maximum of once each. So this could probably be a good way to get it so that I can just copy and paste everything as well in one go. It's going to put all of the internal links at the bottom of the article. I can just tell already. ChatGPT loves to do this kind of stuff just to annoy me while I'm making a video. But yeah, you can also just add internal links at the end, to be honest with you, if it's not doing it. I have a feeling it's just going to add them all at the very, very bottom. Let's see. Okay, it just, it just didn't add the internal links. That's fine. No problem. Overall, though, I would say that's a pretty good result for ChatGPT 3.5. I would say this content is going to rank on Google. It's really, really long as well, which is super nice to see. I really need to start going to docs.new instead of going on that cheese thing every single time. Wow, this is really long. Tools, word count, 1,500 words, completely for free, okay? And then you would have to add your internal links yourself, um, but yeah, there's almost definitely a way to get it to add internal links. So I'm going to say, please remember my internal links from before, add them naturally throughout the article. I've definitely seen 3.5 doing internal links. It's just, it, it's kind of a song and dance. You have to kind of fight with it. Okay, there we go. We actually have internal links finally. <laughs> Okay, so it is possible, as you can see, you just have to keep pushing it, keep saying the same thing, keep saying, where are my internal links? You have to kind of cry a little bit and um, beg ChatGPT 3.5, but it does do internal links. Okay, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm really, really happy I made this video because I, I've recently been bogged down in finding the best method, but I think this might be the best method. And this was a method that I came up with ages and ages ago as well. So let's just see the internal link. There it is, Mora and Kitom. Now that we have those two internal links, it hasn't done my others, but that's fine. What we can do is we can, first of all, delete this here. And then we can click on raw HTML, and then this will go directly into your CMS. Okay, so I've just edited it a little bit. Okay, I've just changed. I'm going to share this one right here, this conversation. Basically, in the first prompt, I've said use H2 and H3 markdown headings because basically in this video, I just realized that it was just putting bold instead of H2 and H3. So I just wanted to make sure that that was corrected. Now, the output is absolutely perfect. And I recommend at the end, all you say is please add my internal links. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content and peace out.